Nyx has a very steady presence, doesn't she? I want to say she hasn't changed a bit since before you were born, but... I know that she's been through a lot. She's always managed, and quite gracefully at that. Never seen her break a sweat over anything, even when I confronted her about you. Though you two seem closer than I realized, I think. Well, your father isn't always the conversationalist, and Nyx... She was the first Chthonic god I ever met. I suppose she welcomed having another lady about the house. I'm sure she did. I always wanted to ask you something, Father. Whose skull is that there on your shoulder, if it's not too personal? I did not chronicle all Typhon's wretched offspring, boy. No one did. Some of them sit upon our shoulders now, lest we forget that things could easily have turned out rather differently, and much, much worse. So these are just the remains of the spawn of the most hideous monstrosity of all time, which you and your brother slew, got it? I guess putting the dead in their place is all part of the job. I can hardly imagine what it was like before you and the Olympians took charge. You're better off. Hey Orpheus, I take it you know all about the time I burned my father's hands to a crisp the moment I was born? He grasped me by the feet, and they caught fire. And that's why he still wears those fancy rings, to cover up the hideous scar tissue. But that is such a splendid tale, Zagreus, deserving to be sung both far and wide, 